everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Soraya and today's video is going to be a little get to know me video because recently I've had quite a lot of new subscribers and so I thought I would do this little get to know me video and I actually got this idea from a Instagram page that I follow. I will leave her link down below, but she makes some really nice templates on Instagram. And her name is Kelsey in London. I don't know if you guys would have heard of her. And she's just got these really cute Insta story templates of loads of different things that she comes up with. And she had a get to know me one. So I thought I would take a screenshot of four of those get to know me templates and just let you guys get to know me a little bit if you are new around here so i really hope that you guys enjoy this video if you do leave it a thumbs up so the first template i've got here is just a simple get to know me um i've got them on my phone and my age is the first one and that is 25 i'm 25 years old my height, I think I'm 161 centimeters, which works out to be roughly five foot four, but I can't actually remember. My birthday is the 18th of May. That obviously makes me a Taurus, that is my star sign. So my natural hair color is actually this. So I've never actually dyed my roots before. I've dyed my ends, which is why they are quite light because I used to have um blonde ends a couple of months ago but i've never dyed my roots so this is like my natural hair color and i'd say it's like a chestnutty brown my eye color is brown as well then it asks if i have any of the following tattoos yes i have got five tattoos got a little one on my wrist i've got butterflies on my back i've got a big one on my thigh and then technically the one on my ankle is two separate ones but they look like they're just one but I did get them tattooed at separate times which is a dove and a religious cross so I just say that I've got five tattoos. Piercings, the only piercings I have is my ears and I do wear glasses every day and it asks if I have contact lenses. I've never actually used contact lenses. I don't really like anything going near my eyes i don't have a beard and i don't have a mustache where i was born so i was actually born in portugal a lot of people don't know this but i'm portuguese and i moved to england when i was four years old so i've been here for quite a while now but at home i do speak portuguese with my parents still favorite color now if i had to pick a favorite color it would be either pink or rose gold I really don't have a favorite color. But. And then the same with favorite food. I don't really have a favorite food. I pretty much eat quite a lot of things. There are only like a handful of things that I really don't like, like Brussels sprouts or I don't know. But if I had to pick something to eat for the rest of my life, it would probably have to be biscuits. <laughs> I love biscuits. I love probably every type of biscuit there is and even if I didn't I would probably give it a try anyway to see if I did like it but biscuits are my weakness and crisps okay so the next one is get to know my YouTube which is obviously relevant so I first joined YouTube in 2009 which is crazy 10 years ago I, my channel is about it's basically about my life and my hobbies I don't have a specific category of the videos that I upload I kind of just upload anything that I want to or anything that interests me um hauls beauty videos vlogs workouts just a mixture of things. My first ever video was, okay, so my first video was in June 2009 and it was a video of me singing the Titanic theme song. Um, it's not a video that I like watching back at all, but because it is my first ever video, you know, I, I'd never take it down. I mean, I was 15 at the time in a pink room with a little crap camera sat on top of a computer that I had and I was just 
singing karaoke. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to go and watch that, then please do. But I just, I, I cringe when I watch that video. I really, I really do. My most ever watched, no, my most watched video. Okay, so my most watched video at the moment is a video that I uploaded on the 20th of April last year. So on my sister's birthday. It's a what's on my Samsung Galaxy S7 video. And it's got over 10,000 views and I don't know how or why but it does and yeah that's my most watched video. My next video will be about, okay so if I've got my timings correctly then my next video after this upload is going to be something to do with Lent. I have come up with an idea from a video that I've seen Gabriella um, I mean, I'll talk about it more once I upload that video, but it's just an idea that I got from her video. And yeah, I've been filming that. And so, yeah, that's probably going to be my next video on YouTube. My favourite YouTubers are, okay, so I've got quite a few that I, I mean, I like all of the people that I am subscribed to, you know, I watch all of their videos. But my favourite ones are probably Mark Ferris. Coney Jolie's, Zoe Sugg. I do like Joe Sugg as well, but I wouldn't class him as one of my favourites. Um, Alfie Days, Louise Pentland. I love Louise Pentland. She's just so funny and just so genuine. Whitney Simmons, who is like a fitness influencer. And then I also really like to watch um, my friend's parents' YouTube channel called Seeking the Unknown. Um, I think the, they're... YouTube is slightly longer than that, but I'll leave everything linked down below, all these channels. My friend's parents are actually paranormal investigators and they've got a YouTube channel where they upload some investigations that they do. That kind of thing just really interests me, even though I don't really get involved in paranormal ghost hunts um, anymore. I used to, but um, yeah, not anymore. But I love watching their YouTube videos when they upload one. What inspired me to start making videos? Okay, so I... As a 15 year old, I wanted to be a famous singer. I loved singing, I've always loved singing ever since I can remember. But I wanted to start a YouTube channel to sing in front of the camera and in the hopes of becoming a famous singer because what 15 year old doesn't dream of becoming a famous singer? Finally, my favorite thing about YouTube. So there are a lot of negative things about YouTube, definitely, like trolls and, you know, just a whole load of things that can go wrong with YouTube. But one of my favourite things is that people can literally upload anything that they want to onto YouTube, like anything that they're interested in. It's just a platform to literally express your creativity, to show as much or as little of yourself as you want to. YouTube has made me a lot more confident in terms of talking in front of a camera and talking to people. So yeah. Okay the next one is um, a get to know me of if I could. So the first one is if I could have a superpower it would be and mine would personally be to heal people's pain physically and mentally. I think that that would be a great superpower to have because everybody at some point in their life goes through some sort of mental or physical pain and it's so hard to not be able to take that away from somebody so if I had a superpower that would be it to take away someone's mental or physical pain. If I could spend a day in someone else's shoes it would be. Now I've put down one of the Kardashians I, don't, I wouldn't mind which one it was or, you know, either of the Jenna sisters because I would just love to know what it's like to live in their shoes for just a day. I mean, obviously, they display their lifestyle very publicly with their show and everything and they seem to live a very lavish lifestyle and they're all pretty stunning as well. So, yeah, I'd just love to know what it would be like to spend a day in their shoes. If I could be any animal for 24 hours, I would be. Now, this was a really difficult one because there are a lot of animals that I would love to be for 24 hours. But I've I've chosen a dog. And I couldn't think of what specific 
breed of dog I would want to be but I'd just love to be a dog for 24 hours because who doesn't love dogs they are man's best friend and they're just so cute and you know you can go on walks with them you can give them treats they're just so funny and yeah it would just be nice to know what it's like to be a dog like what goes through their head like what do people look like from their perspective what do things smell like because obviously their senses are um a lot more defined than our senses so yeah i think it would be pretty interesting to be a dog for 24 hours next question if if i could teleport anywhere instantly i would go to this hands down is the easiest question to answer it would be australia because it's the furthest place away from the uk it's somewhere that I would actually love to go and visit because, I mean, who wouldn't? The weather is amazing and the country just looks incredible. But I also don't like flying. So to be able to teleport there instantly, that would just be amazing. So yeah, Australia would be the place that I would want to be teleported to, like right now. <laughs> if I could instantly become fluent in any language, it would be... So for this one I've put either Chinese or Japanese because I feel like those two languages I would love to be able to understand or be able to speak fluently in but I don't think I would ever be able to actually teach myself so I mean I just think it would be such an amazing language to learn. Yeah if I could be fluent in any language it would probably, probably be one of those two. And then this one was another hard one. So if I could eat one meal where calories don't count, it would be. And I've put pizza and desserts. But to be honest, like any three course meal would probably suffice. But I don't eat pizza very often. But when I do, my goodness, I mean, I feel bad for it because they do have quite a lot of calories in, but they also taste so bloody good. And also, I have a real big sweet tooth, so any desserts, if the calories didn't count, you know, like donuts and biscuits and creams, creams, oh my goodness, waffles and pancakes. If I could just eat desserts without the calories counting, then I'd be a happy girl. <laughs> Okay, and my final screenshot is a get to know me Q&A. One thing that scares me, so there are quite a lot of things that scare me, like flying on, like in a plane. I'm scared of the ocean. Um, I don't like being in the ocean unless I can stand up, but I'm okay with a life jacket and I've improved my confidence a lot in the past couple of years. Um, I'm also really scared of spiders. <laughs> just thinking about them oh my goodness and this is a weird one but I'm also really scared of dying and this isn't something that I really like to talk about I've got a feeling that a lot of people well I think that a lot of people feel the same way it's just the unknown of what will happen you know knowing that you're not going to come back and I don't really like to talk about it because I do get very very panicky about it I don't know why um but yeah it's just one of those things that really does scare me the thing that makes me happy sunshine something that well it doesn't say annoy me but it says a p word so something that really really annoys me and that is when technology doesn't work. So if my phone doesn't work, if my laptop doesn't work, if my car won't start, just anything technical, if it doesn't work, I just get really frustrated. <laughs> like, if this phone isn't working and it's in my hand, I better put it down before it gets thrown out the window. <laughs> I think I'm self-conscious of. Now, this is something that I think a lot of girls are self-conscious of, but for me, personally, it's my lower stomach. Um, I just really don't like it. <laughs> something I'm proud of. So, there's two things that are quite big that I'm proud of. Um, one is the fact that I've got into university twice now, so I've 
got a undergraduate degree and I'm doing a master's at the moment. I'm really clumsy, I've got like no common sense but yet I've managed to get into university twice and I don't know how. <laughs> and then the second thing is that I've managed to live with type 1 diabetes for 14 years today actually on the day that i'm filming this it is the 8th of march which is not only international women's day but um yes 14 years ago today i got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes so that's something that i'm very proud of it's the fact that i managed to live with it for that long and be relatively well controlled in the last couple of years and the final thing is something I'm improving on and this is without a doubt being more self-confident um, it's very easy to compare yourself to others feel like you're not good enough you're not pretty enough you're not you know whatever it is um, down to social media but I am trying to work on improving my self-confidence and just loving myself for who I am and trying not to compare myself to others but you know it's not easy with social media influencers and just other people. That is everything for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and got to know me a little bit more. If you do have any other questions and want me to do like a proper Q&A answering your questions, then come over to my Instagram or comment down below any questions that you would like me to answer. I'll be more than happy to do that. I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I'll I am repeating myself as I always do but I will see you on my next video.